what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you guys the breakdown or like more like a tutorial on my multiverse video and i really like the pre feedback i got on that video i really like the way you guys supported me thanks very much and this is how i make the video so for this this will not be a camera tracking tutorial because i've made several tutorial on doing camera tracking already and i've tried this camera and it is not perfect i should say but it works for what i want it for and that is all what matters okay so now let's get started so first i would like to do is to open another layout this is just based on my own liking it doesn't have to do this so i love to split to have a second view So this will be the outline and this will be a 3d view and it will be only a camera so the camera is visible here every time okay so now this is big enough for me to work okay like this all right so now let's start with our layout so I'm not going to recreate all the assets, but I'm going to import it back to this scene just to show you how I make everything. Okay, so I'm going to click here, append. I'm going to look for the project. Here's the project. I'm going to go to the collection and the asset. Append. Okay, now you can see that this is imported. So I'm going to rescale it. This size, I'm going to hide this for now. And for this, I'm going to rescale this size down more. So let me just check to see how big it is compared to the same. It's actually way, way too big. So in this case, you know, after you do your camera tracking and other stuff, we add a ground plane and all of that. So this is my ground plane and this is where the floor level is, you can see. So I must match this with the ground plane. So that will be my floor level. And anything you do must not pass that floor level. That's it. So let me just start dragging this up. You can see it must not pass this floor level. So when you look at this and let me just drag this more to see where it's touch the wall. You can see it's and I must drag this like so I need to expand it a bit. I'm going to press S, scale it up a bit, then drag it to the right and actually rotate it R then X. Rotate it a bit just to match this more properly. Okay, I think this is, should be enough. So when I drag playback, so you can see that I already missed my floor level. So I have to fix that back. You can see the floor level is up right here. So I'm going to drag it up just to touch it. This should be fine. Okay, so now when I play this, we have something like this. And you can see it is not perfect, but it works. That's all what matters. It works. okay so the next thing to do let me just first of all this asset will be available on my patreon if you want this asset you can get it on my patreon with the footage and every other thing the camera track everything you get the same on my patreon so you can follow along easily and follow the tutorial and get everything you want from it okay so we can view this just to see what we are working with or I can see that this is a full textured stuff. You can see the brick is not that perfect, but at least it works, and that is what matters. When it works for you, that is done. Okay, so now let me just continue by importing the second asset. So, first of all, let me like show you the cloud and let me show you the basic of how I create this cloud. So, let me you can see the cloud here. Yeah? It's actually dark because the scene is dark right now. There's no source of light coming to the scene. 
So let me just change it to cycles, then you can see more clearly. You can see this is a cloud. So since I'm using an RTX graphics, so I can turn on the the noise and everything should be fine without worrying about the render or anything like that okay so i'm going to scale down this because it's way too big you scale it down then i'm still going to scale it down the reason why i'm scaling everything down because recently i changed my unit to i think is let me check The unit I changed it to centimeter. That's why it is meter. It's calculated in meter, but recently I changed it to centimeter because I was trying something out. So that's why I still leave it as a centimeter for now. I will still change it back. So if you are worried about how big it is, don't worry because your own will be in the meter and the scale will be fine over there. Okay, so this is the cloud. And let me show you how I created the cloud. Let me go to the shading. This is the process. It's not too complicated. You can see how we Test your coordinate with the mapping, then underneath it with the object, uh, with noise texture. So if I view this, you can see the noise texture. Then mix it together with the mapping directly. Then add the noise, another noise to it. You can see that's why I'm getting this dense noise. Then mix with the the color ramp, and this is what I'm getting with the color ramp. Then mix with a multiply node. You can see. So from here. So here you can see just you just make it dark a little bit, then add it to the density. You can see density of a principal volume. So that's it. Then you have it. It's very very easy, not that complicated to make. Okay. So let me just go back then import the remaining okay now let me just import the second asset so append so this will be in collection six then append collection so this is it so you can see what this asset is made of just a bunch of bricks of a building and if you want this like i said it would be on my patreon if you want it you want to follow along with the tutorial also we get this project there so as you can see now let's focus on the light so now let me just come back here then turn on back my real light you can see the type of light i'm using let me just show you the hdr environment So what I'm going to do now is to import my environment lighting. So environment, then I'm going to drag it here. So I'm going to click open, then I'm going to locate my uh, where I store my HDR. So I'm going to choose. okay so i'm going to press ctrl then t then i'm going to drag it all the way then also drag it up all right now we are getting somewhere and i'm going to reduce this very much like so and let me just rotate this back to this side you can see it depends on what you are looking for like so it depends on that so let me just go back to the layout 
okay so i'm going to turn on the film and turn on the transparency for you to see what is really going on here okay so this is exactly what is going on and what i just did is just to click just select all the object then just split them around the cloud and that's exactly what i did you can just split them around the cloud anyhow you want it okay so now we are good to almost render you can see that this is really really easy stuff to do so and for the background let me just check the type of background i use for this yeah this is the background i use okay so i'm going to import this as image as plane so let's import this as image as plane import now but we have to import this as image as plane but we don't have the add-on enabled so let's go here edit then preferences then click on the add-on then type image then you say import image as plain add-on just turn that on then save then out of that then now let's import it when you go to image now you see import image as plain so i'm going to click here then drag this back to here then import image as plain so it's back here you can see so what i need to do is to scale it up way big to make sure it fits every corner of the scene so when you just view this let view from the render okay you see exactly what it's doing yeah you can see what it's like yeah okay so you can just scale it down a bit and drag it to the side like so because you don't want everything to be visible you can see now so i have to scale it on the y access just to stretch it to that corner all right so this is working fine so when let's go to the render view from this spot not from this you can go to the render view from the camera here so exactly this is what we are getting and you can see that we are almost there so you can see now so when I click here, I'm going to hide this image as plain add-on. Click here, then hide it from the camera. So what I'm going to do is to look at here. You can see that we have to make sure there's no object visible here. So what we can do is to create a plane here. You can see. So let me do that here in my 3D view. So let me hide this also. okay so we can create shift e let's go to mesh so we can use cube let's use cube scale it down way too big you can drag it down like so so we are going to edit this to match where our door is facing so we drag this a bit now we need to drag delete this face let's delete this face first delete this face then select the corners then drag it towards the door you can see that everything is not even matched so we need to drag it to make it fit so scale it up like so all right now we are seeing that we are having some sort of room here so click here then drag it up okay all right now we can see that we already create a room for this so what we do with this let me just show you click here now let's add this in a new collection so i give it a name indoor okay so when we go to the render view again so the idea was not to see it not to see any other thing coming from behind here so when you just click here click on the layout then set as out. 
So once you set that, so that you won't see anything behind it. So let me hide this. You can see that we are seeing the pillars and the poles behind it. So when you turn it on again, it won't be behind it anymore. So that is exactly what we are looking for. So now we can turn on this. You can see that everything is now looking much alive, like the multiverse is coming to real. So now, this is the best time for us to render, as you know. Now it's, we can just render our project and do the need to need of the composite because when you look at this leg right here, we have to mask out some parts from here. You can see that is very very much important to do. And when it's touch, you can see here also you have to mask out this hand, which I'm not going to show you because that, you know that take a lot of time to do. So this is most of the basic way to do this so if you are just a little bit familiar with blender or cg or vfs as a whole you should know that this step is how to do something like this and it's very very simple not that difficult you can see that we have a plane we have the cloud then we have the poles then the door the door is the main source or the main point of this work so that is very very important Okay, so I hope you learned something from this. You can just click on render and do this basic composite. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and you will get all these projects in my Patreon. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.